Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. In the last section, we introduced the concept of an augmented matrix to represent a system of equations. We also introduced the legal row operations that you can do to an augmented matrix that preserves its integrity, so to speak, um, and lets us solve a system of equations by row reduction. I know that that was coming fast and furious, and watching one example is never going to make you an expert. So what we'll do now is we'll solve a second example and give you a little bit more confidence with with uh, using this technique. So if we have a system of equations, x plus 2y minus z is equal to 1. And then we also have x plus z is equal to 3. And then we have x minus y is equal to 2. Again, we have three variables, x, y, and z, but we only have, well, we, I should say, we have three equations. So because of that, we're reasonably hopeful that we'll be able to use row reduction to find a solution, but we won't know until we get to the end. So let's write this as an augmented matrix. So we have the coefficient matrix for the first equation will be 1, 2, and negative 1. Put our augmented dotted line and stick a number 1 over here. Now for the second line, since x is here, we have a coefficient of 1 there. There is no y in the second equation, so we have to put a 0. And then we have to put a 1 for z, and then we put a 3. And then there's a 1 for this x, there's a negative 1 for y. There is no z here, so we'll put a 0, and then we'll put a 2. The important thing to uh, do here is you need to pad your matrix with zeros uh, where appropriate. I'm kind of showing you that as we go along here. All right, now the first thing we usually want to do, is, well, we, we want to transform the left-hand side to an identity matrix with 1s on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. I already have a 1 in this location, so I don't need to do any row switching or anything. I'm very happy that that's already there. So because I've already done that, then we need to plan our next move. And our next move is going to be, we're going to keep the top matrix intact, or the top row intact, I should say. Now we want to get zeros underneath our 1 here. We want to get zeros for both of them. So on the second line, I want to take negative R1 plus R2. I want to take a negative 1 and multiply it by these elements and add it below. When I take negative 1 times this and add it here, I get a 0. Negative uh, here and then added here I get negative 2. Negative times this gives me positive 1 plus this gives me a 2. Negative here plus this gives me a positive 2. So, so far I'm doing well. And again, I want to put a 0 here, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Negative r1 plus r3. When I put a negative times this added here, I get a 0. Negative times this added here, I get negative 3. Negative times this gives me positive 1 plus that gives me 1. And then negative times this plus this gives me a positive 1. So I've achieved success in that 